Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sky Clubbers again. And today, today, today is part two, the continuation of my ongoing unboxing series called The Heart of the Heart. If you haven't watched already, uh, basically, the concept is I'm gonna be unboxing a ton of figures that have been kept in storage for the past three, four years now. So I started the video with uh, Dragon Ball characters. Here, we will be unboxing a different company. This time, it will be NECA. Horror figures. I love the horror genre, but my favorite has to be the slasher genre. I've loved slashers at a very young age, and NECA has always been my sugar daddy. Today, we'll be unboxing a bunch of Jasons, my favorite horror slasher, more than a decade, and one Michael Myers, which is long overdue. So yeah, let's go on with the video, shall we? First, let's unbox Michael Myers here, Halloween. I originally wanted to do a Halloween unboxing video on Halloween Day two years ago in 2020 because I actually got this figure in 2019. I love NECA, bro. I love NECA so much. If I were to choose one company to make all the toys in the world, it would be NECA. The price you're getting for the figure, most worth it for me. You get a beautiful box. Actually, it is my favorite box out of all the figures because you have the option display window and the figure is posed. Some toy photography there done by NECA. So yeah, the reason why I said that if I were to choose one company to make all the toys in the world is because NECA, let's say for example, the Homelander figure. Now I have a Homelander Mapex. I bought the Homelander Mapex. I didn't buy the NECA Mapex because for one, it's not to scale with most of the figures that I want to scale. Like for example, because the NECA figures are generally taller than SH figure arts Mapex or But, oh, oh man. It smells like death. That's how you want Michael Myers to smell. And all his glory. Here's the reason why. In a, in a paradise, in a nirvana, where every toy is made by one person, is because NECA, for example, you have the Homelander figure. The Homelander NECA figure is three times cheaper than the Made Better alternative. It's not as pretty, but it still somewhat gets the job done because NECA, ignore the, their, their Homelander figure, that's not really their best toys. Their best figures are their horror figures, their predators, their teenage mutant ninja turtles. NECA figures are just generally sturdier, you know? They're definitely tougher than SH figure arts and the Mayfexes because Mayfexes and SH figure arts are Asian made, Japanese delicate, sweet, so they're more hollow. But this NECA man, American steel, I love the material of NECA and just how the figures are textured, the weathering, ooh, know that. It's pure evil. But yeah, generally, they're just sturdier. They're, they're, um, I have more confidence to play with NECA figures compared to like SH figures or Figmas. No way in hell you're gonna see me play with some Figmas to the extent that I would with a NECA figure. For Myers boy, let's put him there. Let's put him down here for now. Let's now move on to the main boy. Right here we have the Friday the 13th, 2009. I know people didn't like the remake, but I actually enjoyed the 2009 remake. It's actually my favorite, Friday the 13th. It's probably my second favorite Jason look. I actually have the original 2009 Jason. This was so long ago. I think I've had this figure for what? Eight years, 10 years, and out comes Mama's boy. Crispy. Breaks free from the shelf. Oh, he's, he's wet. Here's the main differences. This guy's a little dirtier, but this guy had more mobility. Because the original one has a stiff leg. There's no knee articulation. But this boy right here, he can move around, you know? He can play in the swamp. He can swim. This guy is for me, the perfect Jason design. Like, he looks like a survivor. You know, this guy looks like he trained in the wilderness. This guy really looks like he will F you the F up compared to all the other Jasons combined. Like, if there was a battle royale of Jasons, this guy would definitely be a vanilla pose, you know? Just a vanilla pose for this dude. One of my favorite parts of a Jason, the un there's an unmasking in this unboxing. So let's see. Only a, the face only a mother could love. Look at that. Aren't you a beautiful hillbilly? <laughs> Next we have the Freddy vs. Jason J. I actually also had a uh, Freddy vs. Jason Jason 2 a long time ago. It's a statue one, but I ended up selling that too because we go for articulation in this bitch. And this was even before the announcement of this one. So when this boy was announced, oh, 
very bad. Clamshell is a lot delicate. Mecca is three times cheaper than a lot of the figures that I usually buy. They're a lot sturdier. And arguably, when they want to do detail like face sculpt, they're, it's, they're, if they're not bad, they can compete with the likes of Mafex, Mezco, SH Figures, uh, etc, etc. And also the accessories, because for me, what really makes it for me are the accessories of a figure. I, I love options. The, this man comes with a teddy bear as an accessory because he's a, he's, a, he's a child, he's a lonely boy inside. And he comes with two different machetes and he comes with three mats. And this is for just one Jason. And this is pretty much the standard for all Jason. One Jason even has a camper, that's the part two Jason. You're getting so much for your buck and you're only paying three times less for a figure that is uh, one if you like. Bigger, sturdier, it comes with just as much accessories. And maybe 70% of the face sculpt. Dirty boy is out. Oh, I have a loose leg here. Here he is, his beautiful glory. And of course, the unmasking in the unboxing. A face only a mother could love. Look at that. Pretty boy. Beautiful. Flaming sword. Nothing scarier than a grown ass seven foot behemoth with a flaming sword. Now, let me tell you guys a story because this is a pretty special moment for me. But I don't think I've ever had a toy this awaited for so long. Just to give you guys context, I think I watched this film when it was like 2008 or 7. And just then I was so in love by the design of this. This is the Friday the 13th New Blood Jason Part 7. This is my favorite Jason design, and um, for a while, um, it was, I think, Mezco was the one making Jason toys, and they made a part 3, a part 4, but they never made a part 7. There was no part 7 figure available. I remember as a kid going on eBay looking for a toy of this because I really wanted the design. The, des the design was so great. But the only available design was like customs made by eBay um, people, which would range to like 200 to 400 dollars. And as a kid, oh, that was mind boggling for me to buy a 10,000 peso figure, which still is to this day. But yeah, finally, NECA has blessed me, has blessed us, the NECA community, with this beautiful new blood Jason. And I think he has the most accessories. Yeah, looking back out of all the clamshells. And here he is, my most long awaited toy. Like, there is literally nothing, no other toy that I wish longer than the new Blood Jason. And he is. Beautiful, look at that, look at the design. The reason why I love this design is because I'm a sucker for battle damage look. And this is about as battle damage as Jason gets. You can make the argument for, I guess, Jason goes to hell. Or maybe yeah, Freddy vs. Jason with this bloody look, but bro, no way in heck you're winning that argument against me because I have so much battle points. So why this is the battle damage Jason. This boy is beaten, scourge the F up. This is the climax. Going down the fence, reach the climax. Oh, rise from the ashes, baby. Burst. Burst. Look at this design, bro. Do you see that? See that? That's his. That's the man's spine. That is the man's spine. You can see his rib cage, the bone marrow, the bones on his fingertips, his dried out texture. This is my Jason. This is my baby Jason, bro. And I finally have it after more than 10 years. It's been more than 10 years to make it. And of course, the unmasking in the unboxing. This thing is. Beautiful, bro. I'm so happy. I don't know what I'm gonna display, but I'm probably gonna display him with his um, chain thingy. But yeah, oh my god. Um, 
I think that's about it, guys. I, I, that's about it. Um, it's gonna take me a while Great ass. to play with this because I will be playing with this one the most at the end of this video. Looking back, I think the Jasons hold a special place in my heart because for as long as I've been collecting Dragon Ball figures, anime figures, other figures, I think Jasons are the figures that I've collected the longest because I've been buying Jason figures since I was a wee lad, you know, since the Mezco days. But this is probably my top three figures of all time in my entire collection because the amount of hype I have for this figure. But anyway, this has been your boy Spy Cobras. This has been my Jasons and I'll see you guys again in the next Harvest Sky Cobras Harvest Bye.